Yes, Sutton did say something problematic to Crystal, but that does not give Crystal the right to say something to the group, refuse to reveal the, the extent of the statement that Sutton made, and then sit back so people can insert whatever they will because that the statement Sutton made was dark. For a woman who likes to live and move in a safe space, she certainly did not create that for Garcelle. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today I will be reviewing Housewives of Beverly Hills the ladies and their foolishness. So the program begins with Darcelle showing her sister around a home she recently purchased on the beach. I'm just happy for Garcelle because I know from growing up in the islands, the beach is where it's at. The beach is a healing place to get your feet in the sand, to feel that the heat on your body, to feel the wind, the salt, the seagulls. It's just a wonderful place to be. And I'm happy for her because, as I said, I think the beach is a healing balm. And any chance I get, that's where you'll find me. <laughs> the re-describing her therapy. I'm not going to get into this simply because I am not firmly resolved on the burglary situation. And I'll just keep it moving. Renna's mom passed. And while I'm not a fan of Renna, I lift up a prayer for her. Her mother through the years seems to be a lovely person. It's never easy losing your mom. It's never easy losing a parent or a sibling or even a family member. But Mothers and daughters have that special relationship and regardless if a mother is an older woman um, and is lost because of age, because of an accident, because of, of sickness, you can never prepare yourself for it because in the, the joyous moments of your life, you want to reach out and call your mom and then you realize that She's not there, so there's an underlying fog of absence and loss. And I hope that Rana takes time for herself and be kind to herself. Because it's going to be a challenge. I don't really think that you, you get over the loss of you, your mother. That's just me. Carl meeting Crystal. Kyle rightly told her that she thinks she's gaslighting everyone because she refused to reveal everything that Sutton said. If she de had decided not to reveal everything that Sutton said, she should not have brought up the conversation to begin with. Carl got me agreeing <laughs> with her here. It's, it's one of these rare times that I can get on the same page with Carl. I acknowledge it. More importantly, she told Crystal that she felt she was gaslighting them to her face. And I'm a big fan of that. Diana needs to change up the designers that are sending clothes to her home. I think she needs to get another stylist so we can have something that's more organic to her, her taste level, or perhaps her taste level needs to go up a notch or two. If Diana tells us that she is allergic to going into a store and that she has designers sending close to her house, which is fine, she got the bones for it. Um, I'm thinking that if you're getting designer clothes, uh, there's going to be a, a, a cohesive match. But so far, what I've seen on Diana's back is she needs a little assist in the wardrobe department. So PK told Dorit that 
to get away from the trauma of the break-in that she should go to somewhere they love, which is a spot in Mexico. So Dorit invites the girls to Mexico and Diane gets them a private plane to take them there, which is nice. I, I just like the idea of, of that, going to Mexico with some girls in a private jet. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Let's get into the Crystal Sutton Garcelle dynamic. Crystal said last week that Sutton said something dark. She refused to articulate what exactly it was when asked multiple times. Now, you can't fault her use of the word dark, but if she says that and it involves Garcelle, people are gonna assume that Sutton said some awful-ish. Now, based on the history of Sutton, she's an older woman, over 50, and she comes from the South. Perhaps being born and raised and saturated in that environment will her takeaway may be not where it should be and since we are in 2022 everyone has to change their awareness or have some level of enlightenment about people that are different to them Sutton said that she saw her daughter in the jacuzzi with her friends that included um, some black girls, some Chinese girls, and some other people. And she thought to herself, that's how it should be. Now for Sutton, who said that she does not see, see color, that was some ish. She was able to articulate the race of her daughter's friends. Uh, it reminds me of people who would say to you, Oh, I have black friends. But when you go deeper and you ask them if they've ever broken bread with them, they will say no. People just needs to be more open and honest with where they are. The statement that Sutton made, it is what it is. She needs more enlightenment, more awareness, more understanding of what she's actually saying. And perhaps this new relationship with Garcelle will create a new awareness, knowledge, understanding, and educate her. But I think Crystal tried to, to muddy Sutton's reputation in their social circles. I think Crystal tried to to do damage to Garcelle, make Garcelle feel a little bit paranoid about a friendship with Sutton because she does not yet know what she actually said. I just think that Crystal tried to damage any relationship Sutton and Garcelle had. Now, when Sutton realized that they got to speak the truth about what was said, she implied that Crystal has a habit of doing this kind of stuff, saying stuff about women in the affluent circle and then talking about them behind their back. When Crystal asked Garcelle after the dark statement was revealed whether she was okay with that, Garcelle said she thought it was more troubling that Crystal leaving stuff open like that implied that Sutton had said something that was not good as to Garcelle's race. Crystal apologized. It's just a very negative space that Crystal deliberately created and would not take responsibility for even when she appeared on Watch What Happens Live earlier this week. She refuse to acknowledge that the way she went about things was foul. And I just think sometimes these ladies just ne need to step back and be aware of where they are, who's watching, and what comes out of their mouth. And I'm, I'm going to look at Crystal sideways from this point on. I was 
glad to see her last season and she does have a legitimate beef with the woman about shutting her down regarding her concerns. Added to that, the, the way she responded to Garcelle that she's using big words was condescending at best. Garcelle is an educated, successful businesswoman and she can hold her own and Crystal needs to check herself because she's now coming across as an elitist and looking down on people. So I thought all of that was foul and what she is bringing forth is not good. That's all I have. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. And please like, share, subscribe, click that notification button and be kind to yourself. It's a whole lot of people going through stuff. The point of good mental health sometimes is just to be kind to yourself. God bless you. Bye-bye.